All right, did anybody get a definition for supervised ag experience? Nope, nobody got one. All right, so supervised ag experience is actually a project done in or outside of class um, that promotes career skills. Um, well, let's see. What's the trying to come up with my definition? Probably done in an inner outside class, but so it's a project done in or outside of class. It implements the knowledge and skills gained within the classroom. These skills can be used later on in the workforce. Um, so, you know, we're going to talk a little bit about SAE. Usually it's mandatory for this class that you do an SAE project. Um, it probably still will be mandatory, but it will be more of second semester when we're in school. Um, and it won't be as long as it usually is. So that just means that it's a project that you do. Um, some of you have jobs already, so your job would probably count for your project. Um, some of you may want to do an experiment. Some of you may want to do um, a job shadowing to learn more about a job. Um, some of you may want to grow plants or raise an animal or maybe you want to start your own business. Um, those are all things that you could do. But it could be as small or as simple as taking care of your own animals. If you have dogs or cats or any types of animals, those count for your um, project, Ta just taking care of them like you normally would. Um, so, there are a lot of things that can go into this project. So, a synonym would be internship. You could also use job or project. We use it in a word. You could say Every agriculture student must have an SAE project. So we use the letters SAE as the acronym. So you'll hear us say SAE a lot, and so that's what that is. So these down here are different types of SAEs that you could have. So an exploratory would be researching a possible job or career that you are interested in, or um, observing or job shadowing a future career. So either of those would count. Um, so like if you were interested in being a veterinarian, when we come back into school, hopefully if we'll, we'll still be allowed to do it. But we usually have a way that we can set you up with um, a job that you're interested in. And we get you in contact with those people. We help you make arrangements. And then you go during a school day. You have to have your own transportation. But you would go during a school day and observe or shadow that career. So we have a lot of students that do a veterinarian. Um, and it's count as an excused absence. Um, and then you just have to fill out some paperwork and um, do a presentation about it for the class for your project. All right, so a synonym for exploratory would be researching. And then using it in a sentence. Uh, observing a veterinarian would be an example of an exploratory right placement is probably what most of you have if you have a job or um, if you're getting a job which you would have 
Um, so it's pretty much means that you're placed under somebody. You could be paid or not paid. So let's say that you just have a neighbor that you help out with their business or um, you help out on their farm or, you know, maybe babysitting their kids, but you're not paid. So that would be counted as a placement SAE as well because you're placed under that person and kind of working for that person. Um, but then if you're paid, obviously that's better because you're making money, but that's also placement. So if you work at Food Line or if you have an internship or if you just work with your dad, whoever, um, that would be considered a placement SAE. Been a noun for placement. Um, you might have a good one. Let's do. Can't think of one word that is a synonym, so we're going to use a few. We're going to say working for someone is a synonym for placement. I'll probably think of a one word one in like five hours when we're not at school. All right, a sentence using the word so working, a student that is working at Food Line has a placement. All right, and then lastly, entrepreneurship. So that is where you own your own business. So let's say that you have your own dog walking business, or you have your own babysitting business, or you have your own lawn care business. That's really popular with teenagers. Um, so anything like that where you take all the financial risk and responsibility, that's going to be an entrepreneurship. But, you know, not like your parents' business, it would be your business that you run. So a synonym would be ownership. Let's see, a sentence, Zach owns his own lawn. Zach operates lawn business for the community as an entrepreneur. like the entrepreneurship up here is spelled wrong. All right, and then lastly, we have the Ag Experience Tracker. This is the computerized record book that students use to keep up with their SAE projects. So that's an online system. So a synonym would be a record book. If we use it in a sentence, students will use the Ag Experience Tracker to data on their SAE project. All 
All right, and then as we're going through the PowerPoint on Monday, if there's any other words or phrases that are new that you need to look up and want to remember those definitions, you will put those here. Or as you're going through for the other pages to look at them, if you notice any, then you'll put those here as well. So if you haven't already completed one and two, pages one and two, make sure you get those done because those are in the PowerPoint. I saw those. Um, and then these, if you haven't done these yet as we went through them together, make sure you go back. You can rewatch this video or um, do it from memory to complete those. And then when you're done with it, um, you'll submit it on the assignment part in Canvas. All right, any questions on that? No questions, no questions about any of that? All right, um, I didn't mention this at the beginning, but I meant to. Um, if you saw the board voted last night and they did vote to go to plan B, so that means that some of us will be returning in person for learning in October um, when the second nine weeks or second, yeah, second nine weeks comes around. Um, we don't know exactly what that'll look like yet. If it'll be one day for y'all or two days for y'all or how that'll work. Um, but you know, some people will get the opportunity to return in person if they wish. It is not mandatory, so you and your parents can decide to stay virtual online if you feel that that is the safest and best thing for you. Um, but, you know, I'm sure hopefully you and your parent or guardians will be talking about that in the weeks to come to, to figure that out. But either way, it's exciting. It's hopefully a step towards going to our, our new normal or some type of normal where we can eventually all get back. That's the goal. So that's exciting. Anybody have any questions about that? All right. Well, that's all I have for y'all on this lovely, dreary, rainy Friday. Um, if you have questions, want to chat, stay on. Um, if you need help, you can get back on. If not, I hope you have a very safe, please be safe, but good weekend. Enjoy it. And as always, try to get away from your screens for a little while. It's not good for your eyes to be on them all the time. So try to get away from them for the weekend. Bye. Bye, Anna. Have a great day. Bye, Ms. Bye, Jay. Ms. Hart, do you got the workout sent you earlier, like some of the workouts sent you? Did you send it on Canvas, or how did you send it? I sent some of them on Canvas and some through uh, your email. Okay, I haven't looked at my email in a few minutes, so let me check. Like, I sent it to you from Google Slides. I think it was Google Slides. Okay, let me check.
Oh, there's a menu. Yep, I see the ones on the email. Let me double check and make sure I got anything from Canva. And it looks like I've got the ones from Canvas as well. So I'll get those graded and put in this weekend. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for getting those in. You're welcome. Have a good weekend, Equan. You too. Thank you. 